In this screencast I'll show you how to add process control to your dynamic simulation. So over on the icon panel, click on controls and then we'll add a PID controller. Click that onto the flow sheet, click OK. And we're going to have mass rate for this one. Click OK there. And we need to connect this up. So over on this types tab here, click on connectors, click on default connector, and we're going to click on stream S2 and then onto the controller. We'll then click on the controller. Oh, we need to click connectors again, click on the controller, then click on the control valve. And we have that all linked up so that uh, we can actually control the flow rate going through here. If we double click on the controller, we can see the settings here. But if we left click and click data entry, then we can have various limits and ranges. So to start with, we'll put 120,000 as our upper limit and 10,000 as our lower limit. In terms of tuning, we'll bump up this proportional gain a little bit and then we'll not worry too much about these other things. They can be modified uh, as you become more of an advanced user. Click apply, click OK. And we've actually set up a control loop now that's going to control the flow rate through this valve. And if we start our simulation again, we will actually need to click this LF button, load full, in order to update our simulation. The fact that we've changed things, that needs to be updated in the DynSim calculation engine. But uh, and actually we should be able to press play now and we should have things running nicely. We'll just slow this down a little bit. If we double click here and we'll put this to 50,000, okay. And hopefully we should see the flow rate stream S2 go to the, um, the desired flow rate. And if we go back to this monitoring point here and double click on stream S2, get the mass flow rate from there, add. We can see how that's changing over time. So this is when we change the set point and it's gradually rising to the value that we've put in and so we can actually go to the set point uh, there might be a little bit of disturbance in there because we've only gone for mo mostly proportional control very little inter interval control actually been added there but that is how we can add a, uh, a control loop to our simulation in order to start controlling things in a dynamic way and if we see here now the, the mass flow rate stream s2 is fluctuating around the 50,000 kilogram mole per hour. And so that gives us the overall uh, idea of how we can add these things and use these things.